Oh, whoa, 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 we're split again. I'm back to being Oh, you're an Emma Wheel. Oh, shit. Can I? Let's follow our paths and see what uh, happens. Oh, fucking Edra. I'm, nice. I'm going to be Samwise. So. It's one of the things I really like about the uh, Return of the, the King game. The game, well, the, the like old console oh, one that we're talking I'm about. Is I played that game a thousand times. I really like that from a narrative perspective of basically, so literally at the beginning of, oh, we're going to into a thing anyway. Okay, carry on. At the, at the beginning of... Um, the Return of the King. It basically Tolkien describes what the two books do, uh, where he like says like the because it, you know, it's split into six books. The whole thing. Yeah, um, it's wild. Yeah, but it's basically he says um, oh, book five, the, the, which the, is Aragorn's story. I, oh yeah, I've seen this scene. But when he's like, yeah, um, book five, he says tells of the opposing schemes of Gandalf and Sauron. Yeah, and I actually think the films don't capture that so well, but the games actually captures how everything from like where Frodo and Sam are and all of that is basically that is all Gandalf's plan. I yes, and that's very cool. Also, the, it, the, this scene what we're watching, I sent you this in a YouTube message before we even played this, like where they just like lay weapons on one another. Or uh, yeah, is it? Oh no! The, oh, it's not. It's not. That, that must be a fan thing that I sent you. Yeah, I think it was the fun thing. Oh, it? Yeah. maybe we can. It was literally like a stop motion fan thing. Maybe we can link that in the comments. But there's a, a much, yeah. there's a much better fan version of what we just saw. Oh, so uh, we, you and I both love the two. Why should I welcome, welcome you, you, Gandalf Storm? <laughs> we are right. We are coming up to what is legitimately probably my favorite line in the thing. I'll let you do your thing. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll know when it happens. Unless it's cut from this, and I'll be so mad. We can do it anyway. Oh, there's Eowyn. Being protected by men, and she loves that, oh, clearly. Oh, fuck, fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> I told you told to, told you to take, take the, the wizard's wizard staff. staff. <laughs> oh, shit, we get to do this. Oh, we're going to fight. We're going to fight fools. All right, I don't feel great about being up these guys. They are really just they're like, I don't like employing the Nuremberg defense. But Whoa, they, they, were, they were only following orders. huh? <laughs> they are literally, they, they are decent soldiers hey. of Rohan who are just following orders. Yeah, I mean, can you, I mean, they don't kill them, though. They just beat them up. Fair. I've got like a chicken. Oh, we I, need I have a chicken um, bone, apparently. We need to crack that. Oh no, we can't crack that. So, like, uh, you and I both love the two terrors. It's our, it's our favorite collect, collectively yeah. our favorite Lord of the Rings film. Yes, agreed. And Theoden, good God, Theoden. He's very good, and and he's like we, we talked. I mean, you talked last time about like Boromir having a good arc, and I agree with you there. But I think Theoden has probably the most interesting arc in all of Lord of the Rings. Oh, definitely. Oh, do we have to have, like? Oh, do I have to try and... Oh, shit. Get off. No, why have I picked Gimli up? I don't want to do that. There's a really poignant line in this, the third Lord of the Rings film, though. Like Saruman insults Theoden, like, when they confront one another. Where you are a lesser a son, son of, of greater, greater sires. Victory at Helm's Deep does not belong to you, you Theoden, horse master. master. And again... And uh, he puts so much fucking venom into it. And it's like, yeah, that that bites, because... Yeah. And you see, like, the look and, like, what, what's the name of the actor who plays Theoden? He's a... Very, uh, Bernard Hill. Bernard Hill. You see the look in Bernard Hill's face, and, like, he knows it's true. Like, when, when, yeah. when, when Saruman's insulting him and tells him, like, you're basically a shit king, Theoden knows that's true. And, and you can argue, absolutely, that's probably what inspires him to basically go for death and glory oh, absolutely. Uh, like, uh, uh, at Pelennor. I mean, we'll discuss the, the, the Battle of the Pelennor will be something that we discuss in a much later yeah. video. But, like, he's happy oh, to, I'm, like... I'm, I'm trapped! I'm in a fucking cage! Oh, Get me out of here! <laughs> what do you fear, my lady? A cage. Oh, I fear neither death nor glory. Yeah, anyway, regardless, Theoden is, like, again, a wonderful character, my second favourite Lord of the Rings character, and... Oh, get off. It, so, I, I make no mistake... Oh, you've been like, caged again. If I, if I am blessed with children, I would like to call my firstborn son... My firstborn son? <laughs> my firstborn th son. <laughs> my firstborn son, I would ideally name Theodred, and my firstborn daughter, I would name Eowyn. Like, unapologetically, without a, se a second's hesitation. Ah, uh, yes. And then you remember it's not 1100 anymore. <laughs> I mean... Uh, and, and can, you, the, can you fight and, Wormtongue and, while, while and, I and draw Saruman as poison that, is drawn from a wound? To that I say, fuck you, I'm going to beat him with this, like, chicken bone apartment. Well, <laughs> if you can do it faster. Oh, anyway. take that, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I draw you Saruman as poison is drawn from a wound. and take. I'm trying, but... Uh, take Wormtong take this, Col me. Colonel Sanders says, hi, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on my eleven herbs and spices. So like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I, I don't seem to be able to, like do anything to Wormtongue other than like him. Yeah, it's it's, it's bizarre. Oh, do we need to get him in the cage? 
Maybe? I don't know. Like, I've I'm going to do something A spear. Here. Okay, I have a spear. Maybe that'll do something. Oh, right, oh, see if oh, you can oh. bring him over. Oh, I'm beating him. I trapped myself in the cage. How do I get you Thank out? You. There, there you go, you're out. Right, I'll rebuild the cage and we'll see if we can trap Wormtongue in it. That may be an option. I was going to call him Wormtail, but that is Harry Potter, isn't it? I mean, it's the same. Let's face it, it's the same fucking character there we go. because JK is what she is. Mm, yeah. Do, do, Don't stand on that red thing, whatever you do. Okay, I've, I mean, I have a spear, so. He's running around. He'll, he'll fall into it. Got him. Nice one. There we go. That, that's and then the cage comes down. Don't break him out, you idiot! <laughs> Oh, sorry. Was I, was, I, was I not meant to do that? <laughs> no, it's oh, supposed no, to trap no, him no, while I draw no. you Salamander's poison is drawn from, from a wound. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still healed Theoden enough. There we go. I, so I think I can make something over here? Let, let, let's make a thing. Yeah, you make another cage, I think, and then we have to convince Wormtail to go into it. So Sprite, uh, so Sprite for all the love that you bear me, and it... Well, that, that, that's up to you, Sprite, how much love that is, but like, I would- Oh, I'm trapped in the cage. Did you just build that cage and trap yourself <laughs> in it, you fanny? I, I, I made my bed, then slept in it. But nevertheless, uh, Sprite, if you're, like, editing this, I would like you to point out that exactly this point, how many studs I have relative to the Doctor, because I think- I, I mean, it's me who'll be I doing th that, I, rather, th no, I think, uh, I think I, I am, I am, for obvious reasons, I am the statistician of the infamous gentleman. <laughs> Well, to, oh, I've got a candlestick. We got him. Right, let's do it. Right, please say my best line or I will be mad. Here we go. Come on. Oh, no, they don't fucking do it. Oh. Uh, what is the line, Doctor? You have no power, power here. here. Gandalf, Gandalf the Grey. And then he goes, bam, and pings into the fucking wall. And it's so good. There's, oh. a, re there's a really good sequence where Theoden tosses Grima down the fucking steps. He's like, yeah. He's like, you would, your witchcraft would have me crawling on all fours like a beast. And again, Aragorn being a decent person is like, No, my lord! Enough, no, my lord! Enough blood has been spilled on his account, which is fair as well. Uh, again, like, Viggo Mortensen, like, the, the best man alive. I, again, Th Theoden is just my favorite character. Like, well, other than Gandalf, of course. Yeah, Theoden has a very good arc of basically yeah, just being a kind of minor king as you say who's like yeah. actually no perhaps i need to make my mark and and and, and earn ancestors respect and all that kind of stuff so one of, one of my favorite tropes in literature is like characters who are self-conscious of their position and theoden is very self-conscious yeah. that he is a minor figure in a massive historical event so like he yeah. he knows he's not the hero he knows he's too old he's not like the warrior he was aragorn is the hero gimli is like Aragorn's sidekick. Theoden knows he's barely a footnote in history, but he's determined to make the best fucking attempt he possibly can. Yeah, and I get as you say I, that I, explains I, I why love like that, for him. that explains why Saruman's line does cut him so much. He says you are a greater, son, sorry, a lesser son, a lesser son of of greater size. Yeah, like he takes that personally for fucking obvious reasons. Yeah, very much so. So this scene, this is one of the very few scenes in Lord of the Rings where the CGI shows the, the fight against the wargs. It, it, Does it? Do you think? Yeah. Go, go back and watch it, a viewership. But um, the fight against the wargs, it's not aged as well. Also, like, it gives me great joy to ride around on a horse as Lego Vigo Mortensen. Because, <laughs> because, like, again, like, as far as I'm concerned, this man is God to me. Really? You hadn't made that point over the last four hours and seven minutes. I mean, I really hoped, like, if, if viewership, if you hadn't gotten the fact that Vigo Mortensen is my God, Vigo Mortensen is, in fact, my God. It's nice for you to at least... Oh, shit! I did what Aragorn did and, and ran off the cliff. Oh, can I tell oh. Can I tell the story? He took a little tumble oh, off the cliff. The cliff. <laughs> can I, te can I, tell, right. can I, I tell the story? Can I please tell the story? You can. I just want to have my brief rant about why the fuck are all the orcs cockney? It's bullshit. <laughs> because anyway. co cockneys are commoners and peasants, Doctor. Don't yes. you know? Apo anyway. Apologies to any cockney. On you go. So, um, during the shooting of the scene where like Aragorn literally takes a tumble off the cliff... Vigo Mortensen was underwater for something crazy like three minutes and then he actually resurfaced. So like they lost sight of him. He tumbled into an actual river where they were shooting this in New Zealand and they were genuinely concerned that production had killed the lead man in their role. But <laughs> Vigo Mortensen, god, hero, man, myth, legend, resurfaced after being underwater for almost three minutes and was like, yeah, I'm alive. We're going to shoot next week. And he did. Because v I mean, don't get me wrong. That is that is cool. Massively All I will add cool. is 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 
three minutes or three or four minutes is not actually as long as you might think. Uh, um, sorry, what was the line? I, I challenge you to hold your breath for three minutes right now when you're not in freezing New Zealand I, water. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a trained scuba diver and free diver, so well, yeah, I, I can. Uh, well, <laughs> but, well, <laughs> and to that I say fuck you. This is, well, see, oh, this I've is the lost my th- horse! Where's my horse? Oh, you'll find it again around the middle. You can come and get on it. Here oh, it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, basically... The learning curve with holding your breath is really fast. Uh, basically, when you first do any kind of like diving or anything like that, like free diving, it feels really difficult. But then most of the initial barrier is psychological. And then once you realize that your brain saying, oh my God, you need to surface and breathe now means you have a couple of minutes left, that relaxes you. And as such, you can last much longer. And with like a minimum of training, most people can do like easily hold their breath for like three or four minutes. Okay, I mean, like, that's very cool that A, you can do that, and B, that you know that, but also Vigo Mortensen. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's still impressive, Crocker, especially Vigo, like. Vigo, Vigo, Vigo Mortensen, who is like a trained scuba diver, po- poet, <laughs> recording artist, warrior, horse master, and also Academy Award winning actor, could do all of this. Come over here, will you? There's a thing for you to sniff. Um, like uh, a tracking thing. I, I will uh, come, why I, to get off the I mean, horse. I will come over for a second. Go. But, oh, you can but, get on a wag! Oh. Send out Whoa. your wag, riders. But again, I, I continue to re-emphasize for the entirety of the show, Viggo Mortensen, probably the best human being who has ever lived or will, it, or, or will ever live. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, I, I, I He's I will doing the this... thing where he hijacks the water! <laughs> this game is incredible! And he I love took it. a little tumble off, off the, the cliff. cliff. <laughs> is that, yeah, is no, that, I will that, say, obviously, that sh- I, I, did that, that I did that free dive... Uh, I don't think he even has an... Oh, no, he does have... Maybe that is... Sorry, 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 Doctor. Yeah, but no, you I will say, like, the, 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 free, free the free diving I've done has been, like, in, in very controlled conditions. Well, not controlled oh. conditions, but certainly in, in relatively calm waters on a coral reef in Egypt, not, you know, like, in a fucking wild river in New Zealand, which I'm sure is different. But nevertheless, you have done that, and that's cool, so... It's really weird to basically, like... Obviously, it's, it's a weird thing to say, but usually humans float. Um, well... Uh-huh. <laughs> but but when you go beyond a certain depth, you stop floating. Because basically the air in your lungs compresses to the point where you actually start sinking. And it's really funny because you swim down... Okay, it's not actually funny. It's vaguely horrifying. But you swim down to like eight or nine meters and then somewhere I, around the I, ten... I don't know what's happening now. I, I can't seem to... You've got Gimli on your warg? I can't move, though. Interesting. I'm crippled. Oh! Right, I've killed you. Uh, no, did I, that fix you? I, I can't move. Oh, no, there we go. Are you, are you not I'm, doing that? Oh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm back. We're cool. Cool. Carry on. But yeah, so yeah, you, you dive down to about 8 or 9 meters. Basically, as you go down, you start floating less. And then you hit 8 meters, and uh, 9 meters-ish. And then you start to actually start sinking. Rather than floating. Which is great, because then it means you don't have to spend any energy to sink. You just have to, like, stay... Because obviously, free diving is all about holding, like, basically using as little energy as possible. Yep. And so you just stay there, and you just keep floating down. And you're just, like, watching this coral reef go past. Like, it's really cool. And then you look up, and you're like, I am... 30 meters below the surface. I've never done anything as cool as that. Well done, Doctor. Wow. Like it's it, no, no, it's, it's not it's it's not as impressive as it sounds. But it is just like you look up and you're like, at full pelt, that will take me 20 seconds to reach the surface. And you do have to be vaguely aware of that. And and you have the awkward optical illusion that basically, if you're underneath the water, it's really hard to judge where the surface is. Oh, basically, the surface always looks like it's about five meters away, even if it's five meters or 40 meters away. And they're like, oh, I'm right near the surface. You, sw- you swim up and it just doesn't get any closer, which can be a bit horrifying. I mean, goddamn, daughter. Fucking. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> Dude, kudos. I, I, As you've uh, said on multiple times on this recording, your undergraduate was in English literature and my degree was in marine biology. So. I, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I always forget it nowadays when the closest thing I come hey, to any biology is dealing t- with he statistics. Took a cumble, oh, cumble. he said the thing! Woo! Oh, he took a little tumble, tumble off, off the cliff. The cliff. I'm pretty, that, 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 <laughs> that's not. Is that a shag rat? Like, there is a name for that orcish cheetah, and I can't remember he it. It is. Yeah, um. It's not shag rat. Shark, the Sharku! Named, Sharku! Sharku! That's, that, that's well, the name. Weirdly, that, that is what he's called in the film. Sharku is actually what Saruman calls himself during the scouring of the Shire. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Uh, viewership with this gentleman, we have no idea how the sprite will edit this episode. We could be done. This could be the end of an episode. This could be nothing. This could be the hilarious thing. Where it's like, we're fi- if we, she's like, oh yeah, we're five minutes into an episode, and then we do a fucking outro. <laughs> she's gonna hate us, but fair. Well, you know, I, it, who knows? It. Like, I have no idea what's happening. But regardless, viewership of the instance, gentlemen, have a good night. If you're still with us, thank you for sticking with us thus far. The Doctor and I much appreciate your patronage and have an excellent time. Whatever you are in the world, 
We hope that you are staying positive and testing negative. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>